Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more Emma Rung stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My daughter very recently had her 17th birthday. My husband and I told her to pick out a restaurant that she'd like us to take her to for her birthday. She chose a seafood restaurant that we've never been to. In looking over the menu, I saw that the vast majority of the dishes contained shellfish. There were only a few fish entrees, as well as some surf and turf, but there were only a couple of non-seafood dishes. Our son is deathly allergic to shellfish. He also can't stand fish. There were only a couple of dishes there that he could actually eat. I didn't want to take him there because I knew that he wouldn't really enjoy his meal and I was worried about cross-contamination. I told my daughter that this restaurant wouldn't work and that she would have to pick out a different one. My son said that he would be fine just staying home, that we could use the money that we would have spent on his meal to just order him a pizza instead. My husband also insisted that since it was our daughter's birthday and she should be able to choose the restaurant and that our son would be fine home alone with pizza and video games. But here's the thing, we can only afford to go out as a family every so often. When we splurge on a restaurant meal, I want both our children there. I insisted and my daughter chose a different place and we had a nice meal as a family. But she's still a little salty that she didn't get to have a first choice of restaurants. Most people of us say I'm wrong, but again, we can only afford to go out every so often. Is it so wrong that I wanted to do it as a family? My daughter still had a nice birthday meal. Well, I mean, damn, we know who the favorite kid is. Her son. <laughs> I get that she wants both kids there to enjoy the meal and everything but this isn't just a normal day where you go out to restaurants right it's your daughter's birthday and she wants to feel prioritized it feels like even on her birthday this mum is still prioritizing her own son which I get because he's allergic to shellfish and it was already all good when the son was like yeah stay home just order me pizza you guys have fun because he wants the sister to be happy but the mum is like nope you gotta come but like here's the thing that I also don't get is why did the sister choose a seafood restaurant when she knows that her brother is allergic to shellfish I mean if it was my birthday right I would also want everyone to have fun and enjoy what they're eating as well but then again everyone's priorities are different so yeah I do feel bad for the sister though because the mum was like you can choose wherever you want and then the sister's like yeah I want to go to this place and the mum's like no but your brother doesn't like it <laughs> I married my husband six years ago together eight he has two children 20 and 19 Emma I have a daughter who's nine years old I was a widow when I met my husband Emma has severe issues with her father getting married again while her brother got along very well with me and my daughter he's the best older brother out there Emma did not like me and she treated my daughter very badly too to the degree that she almost never left my arms when her sister was home. When Emma was 15, she permanently moved to live with her mother. My deceased husband left me a small fortune when he passed that I never touched since I had a good job and never wanted anything more. So last year, I helped pay my stepson's tuition. My stepdaughter is very angry now calling me the asshole. Am I? I never had a good relationship with her. She always hated me and I don't think she's becoming a good person. And honestly, I would rather leave more to my daughter than pay for her ungrateful ass. My husband is sad because he thinks I'm being unjust. I'm very sad about it, but I still don't feel like I'm the asshole. Yeah, Emma does not deserve anything. Sorry. Bye. Emma, you don't even like your stepmom, but you expect your stepmom to pay for your tuition? Listen to how stupid that sounds. Bye. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.